Hey y'all, and thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy today. Uh, for this uh, canvas project, I've got an 11 by 14 canvas, and I'm gonna do a pour uh, that, that it's gonna be kind of a two-sided, two-part thing. I like the things that give the, the allure of texture, even though we're not gonna be adding any kind of texture to the paint or to the canvas. So, let's get right to it. I've got three colors blended up here. I've got this, uh, this is cinnamon. Kind of looks like a saddle, what I would call a saddle tan. But it's cinnamon uh, by Folk Art. This is Deco Art Laguna. It's a really pretty, I don't know, turquoise, bluey green. I don't know, it's a pretty, pretty color. And then I've just got some black. And I've mixed them up here with my Floetrol. One part paint to two parts of your Floetrol and mix very, very thoroughly. So what I'm gonna do, as I said in the intro, I want to create the look of a texture without adding any texturizing products or anything to this. So I'm gonna alternate. I'm gonna alternate these want to be a little careful with the black because it can just jump in there and take over everything. So I don't want to be too I, w I want my other colors to be sure and be really nice and defined. <clears throat> now for my one part of the pour, I'm only going to la keep layering these two. So I've got, we've got everything all mixed here the way I want to do it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna do this one part, or in theory, with just my two layers, a little bit different. But for the lower part, and I'm gonna kinda, of, not completely diagonal, but a little bit, if you will. So we're gonna start right here. And I'm just gonna take it and kinda of go back and forth. And then I want to start creating some different little swirlies.
see if I can manipulate this end without distorting what we've got going on over here on the bottom part. As you can see, we've got a lot of paint on here. I think that's pretty cool. It looks like we've got this going on and, and then it just opens up into, into whatever you wanna call that. I don't know what I wanna name this. But I'm gonna see if I can set this aside here, a little place to dry. And I've got a lot of paint left, so. I'm gonna see if we can take this little canvas uh, and dip it in here and see what we can come up with. Pretty cool looking there. And I'll just dip my sides along in here. Cool. Okay, so there you go. We got two. Uh, Actually, we've got two in one. Probably could get a third one out of that. Oh. Hang on one second, folks. Let me see if I can find somewhere to settle this. I'm not gonna leave it there, but for right now, it's gonna sit right there. So. I'll grab one more. These are just little uh, eight by 10 canvases. I'm dipping very gently, not sliding, because I don't want to muddy up the, muddy up the paint. Again, I'm going to get my little sides here. Now that's pretty cool. We'll have some two coordinating uh, canvases there that are going to look pretty cool together. Well, guys, I want to appreciate you know you guys watching and subscribing and liking and sharing and your comments. I so so appreciate them, and I look forward to hearing what you have to say about this. We've got like now we've got like three three in one. Oops, I see a little spot I missed. That's got it over in the light. Oops. There we go. I'm gonna set these on a flatter surface because I don't wanna want it to dry with a hump in it. But anyway, hey, y'all, if you're new to the channel, I hope that you will subscribe as well. 
and take this, this journey with us on doing flow art and fluid painting. I hope you all have a great day.